Hi, I'm Anshu Patel. I work for the Institute of Marine Engineering, Science and Technology, and we're very glad to be supporting Seafarers UK for Seafarers Awareness Week. A key theme of the week this year is young seafarers, the new crew members and potential officers coming through to uphold Britain's long and vital seafaring tradition. My name is Robert McInlang, I'm a deck cadet from Vancouver, Canada, and I work aboard Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas. I've always wanted to work on the sea, specifically in seafaring, and I've started sailing when I was very young, and throughout my life I've been tied to the water, kayaking, going to university, studying fisheries, and then eventually I looked towards larger ships and decided I really would like to do that. Currently I'm in a four-year program, so half the time is spent at sea and half the time in, in a classroom. And for the classroom, we learn just the basic seamanship, navigation skills, and then which can be applied once they go to sea. You get to travel the world, you get to work with amazing people, and really to see all of this, it's absolutely wonderful. When Merchant Navy Cadet Georgia Atkins takes command of her first ship, it'll be just a bit bigger than this. Here at Warsash Maritime Academy, Georgia and her fellow students are using an exact scale model of a giant bulk carrier to help them get to grips with the complex business of ship handling. I think the most challenging part for me has been bringing the academic to the physical side of the job, so combining the two. So there's your speed anticipated through the water, yep. okay, and there's your ground speed as okay. well. When so I was at sea, obviously they're there to teach you and train you, but also they've ended up being like a family to you because you are working with them for such long periods of time. Press auto here, mm -hmm. and then the ship will then steer whatever you've got set in here. Okay. The friendships you make here at Warsash, everyone is going in the same career, they're all going in the same direction as you, so you know that these are now friends forever. This is a Type 23 frigate, a multi-purpose warship, workhorse of the Royal Navy. Today, HMS Northumberland is under the eagle eye of Flag Officer Sea Training and his team, being put through her paces. The ship is also testing the skills of a group of young engineering trainees. Well, I chose engineering because it intrigued me. And what also um, interested me is the sea, because I'm from Fiji, an island, so is Great Britain. The, this squadron gives you the opportunity for whatever ship's available to get on board and see what you've done, uh, put it into practice. It gives you that feeling of achievement, like, yes, I've done it, and then you become confident and then you become competent. If someone had asked me, should I join the Royal Navy? I would have said to them, why not? Get out of your comfort zone. Be someone. This is a tale of two super yachts and two young seafarers who've taken up the challenge of working on them. On super yachts, the standards are extremely high. Um, I mean, it's not just the build of the boat, but also the, the quality of service and maintenance on board. As an entry-level deckhand, you 
you do really have to go and look for jobs and knock on yacht stores to try and find a job because the first job is always the most hard one to find. The United Kingdom Sailing Academy provided a course that enabled me to actually be a captain after a number of years of training. And uh, now I'm here on board this classic vessel as a deckhand. Okay, Jamie, that's good. Uh, turn there, please, and then uh, start again. For anyone interested in a career in the maritime sector, uh, I would recommend them to take the time and explore the different avenues available because there are so many great opportunities out there. If you really are interested in a career at sea, that's how you go for it. Live the dream. The UK is a world leader in offshore wind farms. Over time, they'll need maintenance, repair and replacement. That's where workboats like Arvon Menai come in, multitasking across offshore industries and offering bright and wide career prospects for trainees like Jack Owen. What I didn't expect was the size of the UK workboat industry and all the operations they're involved in. Um, anything from wind farm, energy, construction, there's a lot out there. The best part of it for me is probably getting to see the world and meeting different people along the way. The most difficult bit is probably periods away from family and loved ones. Um, it's always a pleasure to get home after a long trip. If somebody asks me if they should do seafaring, I'll tell them it's definitely a challenging but rewarding career. Um, there's endless opportunities out there.